playoff gamesmanship, I guess. Lights not on, nets not ready to go. Is that uh, one of those things? Yeah, I mean, I think it's a non-issue. Uh, we're scheduled to go on at 11.30. We had a good skate and ready to go for game number three. Kind of funny, though. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Uh, Jay, uh, just a comment on the physicality. I know you guys talked about it in the last couple of days, but in the micro, obviously, there's a sense of urgency of getting that done. But in the macro, uh, you know, maybe a little bit of patience because you know what kind of dividends that could pay for you down the stretch in the series. Yeah, I think when you go into a playoff series, you almost look at it like uh, uh, investing into a bank account. Uh, and every, uh, every play matters. And any time that you can make a physical investment, uh, I think it pays off uh, or accrues over the length of a series. And um, for me, um, we had some good signs over the first two games. We're going to have to continue to do that here in game three. We expect a, a fast and physical game, and we're excited for it. How does the dynamic shift with them having last change? We all know and are watching what happens with the centers and mm -hmm. such. You've said you don't want to let anyone else dictate the way you use certain guys. So yeah. In your mind, does it shift much? No, I, I think... Um, we got a lot of good players that I feel good about uh, putting on the ice, and um, realistically, um, you know, when you're playing on the road, uh, the home team gets to put the last people on the ice. So uh, for us, we're just going to continue to stay within our rhythm, not worry about anybody else, and uh, just do our thing. Now you, I mean, in a way, are you sending a message to a guy if every time someone else hops over the boards, you tell them they got to come to the bench? Like it's a bit of messaging from the coach that you know we would rather have you here or there so just yeah. pushing through also sends a message well yeah I think uh, we have a strong sense of belief in our players and uh, in our players ability to get the job done and uh, we think we're a deep team I feel good when uh, anyone that we dress is on the ice and I think they can play against anybody how much does that help at this time of year Jay because the games are so heavy so fast that you can roll your lines and not have to worry about a matchup game yeah i think uh, the big thing for us is that um we understand that we're operating in a dynamic environment not a static environment and the perfect plan is never executed but we got a bunch of really really good hockey players and uh for a coaching staff to have uh those players at our disposal um it's comforting for us it, it's uh it's it's a positive thing for our coaching staff to have so many good players to, to put on the ice. Now, saying that, we uh, the other team does good stuff too. We expect problems, but we know we have uh, the people in our room to be able to overcome whatever gets thrown at us. Yeah, I apologize for your absence, but uh, yesterday, you know, trying to get down here and, and everything, felt that like a necessary evil just to make sure everyone can play? I thought we had a great day yesterday. Okay. Yeah, very good travel day, and uh, the California sunshine kind of freshens everybody's uh, perspective up. And um, had a good skate this morning. We're ready to go. Good. Thanks, guys. Thanks.